Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and happy 2020. Like what the heck, we're in 2020. Um, I didn't vlog much at all on New Year's Eve. Actually, not at all actually. I only filmed like videos of the band coming in for the game and stuff like that. I literally put my phone down, enjoyed the Alamo Bowl, and then as well as enjoyed time with my friends because we went a little ham for New Year's Eve and it was so fun because like we went to a mansion party and then we went to the Alamo City Studios party. So it was really fun. I can't wait to show y'all all the videos I caught, but oh my god, we need to catch up. Let's get to it. Oh my god, guys, so my hair is still like with the curls and stuff from New Year's Eve because obviously like I curled my hair and got all dressed up for New Year's Eve. Um, obviously I haven't showered since last year. Doom. I'm just kidding. JK. Um, but yeah, it was really fun. I'm actually at a friend's house right now. I wanted to come on here and tell y'all how crazy of a New Year's Eve slash day it was because originally UT wasn't supposed to win that game. Like. Utah was favored, um, like nine points or more. Honey, the score was 34 or 38 to 10. We barely let them have a touchdown. We let them have a touchdown and a field goal and that's it. It was just so funny because all these Utah people were coming into San Antonio, right? And they were like, oh yeah, we're gonna beat you, blah, blah, blah. And I understand that. Like if you want your team to win, you're gonna be like, yeah, go with my team, blah, 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 blah. But honestly, they were like, yeah, U UT is like seven and five. We're like eleven and two. Like we've only lost two games. We're not going to lose this game. So they were talking very highly about themselves, which is fine. It's whatever. We let all the uh, the playing talk for itself. But yeah, like if you guys watch the highlights from the Alamo Bowl 2019, oh my god, you would see all the amazing plays that UT did. And so yeah, we won. Like UT won the Alamo Bowl game. Like what the heck? And then on top of that, they were like, obviously y'all know that they were here in San Antonio, so they're in my home city. But anyway, I'm getting a little too ahead of myself because I wanted to tell y'all how fun the day was just like on New Year's Eve to begin with. Like originally I already knew my day was going to be hella crazy, especially when it got announced that UT was going to be the opponent, one of the opponents for the Automobile. It's so funny because... This is the first year that they've ever had it on New Year's Eve. They usually have it the day before or a couple days before. Nope, this year it was on the 31st. So yeah, for the whole day between 1 and 6 o'clock, me and my friend Joe went tailgating. And then of course the UT band came <laughs> to like hear all like the school songs which was fantastic and phenomenal it was so amazing to see UT playing and then right above them was the Tower of Americas so I was like <laughs> to the night. 
so yeah, got in my dress, got my hair did, still have my, still have my hair did, um, and then I got to go hang out with my girlfriends, we went to a mansion party for like li literally 30 minutes to an hour, took some pictures, saw the view, and then we're like, okay, let's go downtown and ring in the new year there, so we ended up going to the Alamo City Studios, and then like, we went on top of the roof, had a lot of champagne, and yeah, watch the fireworks show from there. Woo! 2020! Yay! 2020! Yeah, I can't believe it. Did you do a decade without you, Mama? Love you. So 2020 is going to have a lot of eventful moments for me. I'm obviously traveling a lot. I'm going to Kentucky and then going to Disney World. I'm so excited for Disney World. Going to Israel and I was hoping to go to Italy, but I think I should only have one overseas trip. And I've never been overseas to begin with at all. So the first one to be Israel with uh, certain friends of mine. But anyway, so yeah, I have a lot of trips planned in 2020, and then I also am trying to get more subscribers and grow my YouTube channel, as well as get a full-time job, uh, and also declutter my house. Like, ever since my mom passed away, I really need to clean out my house. I have a lot of stuff from, like, when I was in high school slash middle school still, um, that I just, like, in a way, kind of been hoarding, and I don't need to anymore. There's a lot of stuff that I have to go through with my mom's to like what see what I want to keep for myself and then uh, either hand it off to the rest of our family or just give it away as well as um, just get closer with God honestly. I got really close at the very end of 2019 with him but I want to get a deeper closer relationship with him. The biggest thing I would think I'm going to have to like is going to be a hurdle is my health in july my mom passed away and so that was the hardest thing i had to ever endure to yeah. be honest my mom's passing took a big toll on my health because i i understand that like when she passed away i shouldn't have done that to my body i get that but i was so sick to my stomach i was so sad and so de not in a way depressed but i was very like huh kind of deal because I didn't expect her to go so soon and we thought we, she was going to at least make it to 2020 obviously not but anyway I stopped eating completely like all of August September and October I barely ate I had like chips here and there or like I would have something just to suffice me for the day or something like that I wouldn't even have one full meal a day but anyway I am now on anxiety medication, which is helping me out a lot, but at the same time, I'm at more, I guess, at peace with my mom's passing. I mean, I obviously, like, miss her a lot. Don't get me wrong, guys. I miss her a lot, but at the same time, I know she's not in pain anymore, but I just, like, miss seeing my mom's face, if you get what I mean. It's something that I'm just, like, having to get used to, and it's going to be a hard feat, but eventually, I'll do it. But anyway, I have a lot of goals in 2020 to accomplish, and I hope to at least accomplish them at least by May. I hope to accomplish most of everything I want to do. The traveling stuff is going to be, like, obviously throughout the year, but the, like, the hoarding stuff, the declutter, the health. I hope I can get rid of that, all that stuff uh, within the next two months. But anyway, friends, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video of me sh telling y'all what I did on New Year's Eve. I'm sorry I didn't really vlog much of it or 
like have my camera out that much I was just trying to enjoy my surroundings being around nothing but UT people and burnt orange it was so fantastic even though some people from Austin are kind of rude they came down here to San Antonio I was just like anyway but it was a very fun day got to spend time with my girlfriend awesome to like ring in the new year with y'all and see the fireworks and so yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Please like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next video. Love y'all. Mwah.